Hello guys, I welcome you all to the next video on MySQL lessons. In the previous video, we have learned about the primary key and how it is useful in our uh, database and tables. In this section, we'll be learning about auto increment. Now, adding primary key is very cumbersome task if we look. What if we automate adding the primary keys again and again? For that, we'll be using the auto increment syntax. Let us look into that. So we'll be creating another table uh, and we'll be adding the auto increment value here. You could see, and I'll show you what does that mean. Let me, let us move to the editor. So I'll do a create table students 3 and add name uh, name should be where cat should be a 200 I will add a default is say not found one more thing it is not necessary that uh, column should be present I mean there is a particular sequencing in the columns it can be anything not found the other is marks marks is an integer uh, let us keep it as not null and the third column is the raw number column should also be not null okay let me just mention the it should be an int it should not be an app not null and uh, should possess the characteristics to auto increment itself which you just looked here and one more thing we need to enter what is the primary key so the primary key in this example is also the roll number value so I'll enter roll Okay, there should not be any underscore between primary and key. Sorry for the syntax error. And that has done successfully. We'll do a select star from students3. Should be an empty set. And that is correct. Let us insert multiple values now. I'll insert student name. Insert into students 3 name marks I will not enter the roll number values and because I am not entering because I want to show you guys that it would be auto incremented so I will give values I will give from red Shyam. Lakshman 400 and that's it 3 because I have been entity let's do a select star from student 3 what do you guys think what should come up in the third column and as you can see we have given an auto increment the roll number column is coming up uh, but on its own we need not to enter the values there so this is very much useful if there is a primary key column and we need not to enter the same values again and again in our table so that's it guys so, um, i hope you enjoyed this video on the auto increment section meet you in the next video with some more lessons <laughs>